chopper might have made a little contact with me. And, uh, You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Kevin got the chain all fixed up, drive chain on the actual corn head. Um, so he got that. Today, we are back in the MX220 and we are dump carting. And uh, I'm not really looking forward to this, honestly. So I know Isaiah has been battling the mud for the last three days. And. Uh, yeah, it did rain, so the ground is even set more saturated. Well, we're gonna go give it a go and see how far we make it today. And we're on the move. We're going off the road quite a little bit. Literally just pulled in and it is a mud bog. I passed one cart leaving, one cart on the road. Um, we are gonna be in diff lock pretty much all day long. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a long day. It's the nature of it. I know somebody's gonna say, why don't you wait till it freezes? Who knows when that actually is gonna be? And as you see, it's go time. So we got Isaiah, he's been battling the mud for about three days. We went into some good running and then he's back into mud and yeah, he's not having such a good time. I, I can tell you that. Uh, okay, all right, all right, let's, uh, let's uh, not go into there. I gotta put the camera down. I gotta get the batteries charged up for that one so you guys see all day. Some of the extreme harvesting that is gonna have to go on to finish up the season. So on my way in, I actually passed a bunch of fields and uh, a friend's custom crew chopped it a couple weeks back and their ruts were just as bad as ours um, that are now. So it's not like timing would have made any difference. So pretty much the only things that can get in the fields are tractors. I got three dump tra trucks that are uh, lined up that are hauling, but there's two Masseys I believe at this moment and two of uh, Christian's um, deers. So that is the one I actually ran prior and I really liked it. Um, and then Yakabuchi's here with his Masseys and wagons. So, right after it, but as you see, there's a mud hole right there. There's a mud hole at the end. So, we're just keeping the chopper moving is the biggest thing. Um, and it's, it's a little bit of a ride from here up to the farm, but nothing too crazy. As long as we, we got enough trucks and we stagger ourselves out, then we're good to go. Um, but yeah we're gonna it's wet and as i said yesterday or two days ago out this way got four or five inches of rain over the weekend so it's kind of less than ideal but that's the season we've been in and uh we'll keep pushing along so that is an s7726 and i don't know much about masseys but agco owns everything so Fent, um, Massey, what used to be Challenger, uh, Sunflower, they own a whole boatload of uh, things so a lot of similar stuff to them they did re-ramp their cabs and everything else so they do look different. Uh. Opening up and the fact that that track oh my yep uh. there's some ruts right there I'd say he is stuck over there Probably go hook on to him and give him a pull. It's really not that wet. It's just not dry. We are on to the next one. They're here cleaning the train tracks off as we bring moto across. It's doing the road and everything else like that. Um, yeah, so crossing guard, 
road cleaner. Because, uh, well, you'll see in a second how much mud comes up just from. But it's the conditions, so. I know some people are very unhappy that we truck some mud onto the road, but we do our best to clean it up and keep going. I know in Europe there's regulations. In America, especially here, right to farm. There's a lot of support for farms, and uh, a lot of people do understand that. And it's not like we want to be out in the mud. It's just kind of how the season's gone, and can't do much about it. So it's livelihood on that point. All right, pass the dance place here. And, uh, we'll get up to the next fields and see how wet those are. We're definitely into some good corn here, uh, right on the money, green, tall. This field is nowhere near as wet. Um, but the entrance and exit, well, the access to it's steep and sketchy. So, very steep and sketchy. Go across the train tracks and cut onto a road that has a sharp bend on it. hammer these acres out then up to the next one and the next one and the next one and so on and so on I think this and the next job are the last two large like multiple day jobs and then um, Aaron's got some smaller jobs to wrap up that are like a day or something like that or less than a day so it's kind of organized chaos and get who get into who's ready um, and who can run and location so since yeah there is a few miles between each place sometimes not sometimes there is uh, yeah opening up a field we all get bunched up so right now All the tractors are out running, and they're not back here yet. That's part of opening it up. Then once you get rolling, everybody gets back in their rhythm. Well, Chopper might have made a little contact with me. And, uh... down to three wheel three functioning wheels tires on the rear of this so outside dual went through the chopper head here comes a train that is why we are we got our crossing guard back up here so stuff happens Swerved out around a tree. He forgot about the tree. And... Well, the tree was still there, so. Nothing. <laughs> he says, nothing 1800 bucks won't fix. So. No rim was damaged, no head was damaged, which is good. Well, we'll keep going. If we find any more mud, we will have to. Uh, we go to conditions like we were before we'll have to uh, definitely have a tire on there so they're working on that that is very very similar to my truck setup it actually might be a truck set up based on how it is um, because it's got new running gear underneath it and an older box on top of it and well the drive motors are in the front so it's a diff slightly different side style but then they got their other H&S box running right now 
You know, we have a lot of uh, not much done today without tractors, to be honest. So, make for a long, long day. Another one done. This one was not nearly as muddy. Trucks could have ran a little bit, but because we only got three trucks, or two trucks right now, it kind of makes sense. Wagon's still running. Yeah, I got no tie, well, it's on, but at some point it's going to say no more. If we get in some mud, we're going to have some issues. Well, we are headed out. I don't know if you guys saw that. That's quite the climb. So, who's he want first? figure out where we're going. I got Benny behind me, Yakabuchi, running his car. And we're going over the train tracks. Oh, we better not all pile up together here. My one load that I took out up here was uh, rather sketchy. To be honest, I spun the whole way up and the car went a little sideways. Sharp turn, so you gotta watch for the cars. Lock, diff lock. Oh, Chris down the road with his cart, so we got all. Well, we got. I'm trying to think. Two carts and myself. Or I go open up the next one. It goes all worked up. What up, buddy? You did just get out and party a little bit. that weight bracket and I got a weight bracket.
switch it on the go. Let's see what goes on here. Different angle, we haven't really seen this angle. So he finishes up the back, he'll move back to the front, and then he'll switch. Well, trucks are running good enough in the field, so we'll jump in. Come on, bud. I think a train's coming. We'll jump in uh, the Freightliner and run that instead of the cart. Good jump. Oops off. Hey, you can sit up there, bud. First time seeing their pile. So Tom, who was packing at Eric's place, that's, this is their place, and Eric, who was packing at, pushing at Eric's place. Well, he's here. So they partnership some stuff across. Loose Moose is here with their noon crawler. They've been chasing us down everywhere we've gone, pretty much. We got Eric Mattis. Uh, so the boys are over there with the tankers. And Eric is right into it. Issues. You get caught on a long train, so one truck's loaded right there, another truck's leaving right here. By the time this train probably goes by, I'll be at the crossing too, so it backs us all up, but all part of it. Pretty good corn. Supposedly, the rumor is once we finish this up, um, then we got a little bit more up on the hill. We'll be done. Oh, train's all done. Well, two trucks are gonna roll into the bunk together. Third won't be that far behind it at this rate. Ton of freight moving today. Holy smokes. All the Amazon ones. And we're on our last load. Down here. Our last round. Pretty much, I think, everything left should go on both of those, but I'm here. For moral support and to watch the trains go by and then the next fields are um, much closer so we might only need three trucks and a wagon or so or we will see we're gonna do a little bit of tire work in the meantime but yeah we gotta do a little tire relocation vivor link down below Speed brake reaction, swapping tires.
bead is sealing on. That's what we like to see. We'll let it get up, seat itself. And this is why we have to switch it out. As you see, that's a big gas. So. Thing was awesome. Go check it out. If you do any tire work, absolutely needed. We did put some tire stuff in that tire, so we popped it off the bead, filling back up. It has a tiny, tiny little leak. That tire fought us some, but it's on. Tire guy didn't have to come out. And as everybody comments, oh, the tire guys are expensive. Well, yeah, it's a skillful job. If he could have come out today, probably we wouldn't have done that, but we threw the tire on. Full tire. Well, they're both not new, but that one doesn't have a hole in it, so good to go. All right, Big Dad's favorite spot, right in the middle of the road. The boys, look at him. So I didn't know, that's Steve. I didn't know Steve before today, but. Oh. Yeah. They're coming down, everybody's coming down. It's a good time. I am the only one with street tires. So I'm just gonna hang out out here. We'll let them go in. We got Levi in the Superliner. Huh. This corn looks pretty good too. Oh yeah, it is. This one's full. So I dig it. The next one's full. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's pretty full for opening up. field though there's a guide wire he's got to watch out for I was going to say duels might have almost had it that metal pile me in the way he's got it everybody till they get it opened up I believe this is the last field of this farm and this is pretty good corn honestly been very good corn everywhere we've gone so it's a little wet in that corner I guess so I'm gonna stay up here how are you doing much closer haul I got the super liner behind me the G-Mac and the R model over there. The one wagon in the field, so. Long. We're finishing up today. A couple more loads will be done. He's loving it. So, being a drive over pile, Tom is going back and forth, over, and Eric's just pushing up. The piles that are left before, so I'm gonna jump out and show you guys. Getting close to the end. Very close. A couple hours tomorrow, be in a good place. I think Eric's tired of pack and bunk. I'd say so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, he had a little break in between theirs and coming over here and pushing. guys loose moose they hauled some loads out and they're all parked up over there Took four tankers 7300 well that'll do it for today's video appreciate everybody watching along a little jumping around get some more corn done i will be excited when we are done with corn silage and we can roll into doing some combining so and fall work um yeah i went and looked at some of my corn Home farm is further out than I'd like, which isn't a bad thing. Um, 
rented ground, we might be closer than we expect. So we looked at that last night, and I'm very excited. So you guys will see that in a future video. But appreciate everybody watching. A couple days left of the Carhartt pre-order sale. So slide down duffyag.com. If you made it this far, go hit it up. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Push through some more chopping, get some more action, see some different people. And, uh, yeah, I will be, we'll be in a good place shortly here as far as our own stuff. So I'm excited to show you guys some of that. But have a good one. See you on the next one.